everyone now we will see how to apply text formatting tag to the text that is also called physical style tag using android mobile and android app so you can practice html coding so this is bold italic underline so we will first load android app so we will see how to load android app this is android app and how to load we will see that using play store load android app this is android app as it is already loaded so it will directly open that app and uh, we will create a new program html head these are necessary tags for every html program so we will write text formatting this is also called physical style tag text formatting tag text format will write so these are also called text formatting tag close the head body tag so first tag will write bold tag so for bold tag when you want to make text bold so use b tag write here any message so bold we'll see one by one output close the tag save the file so you can give any name so i am giving suppose text format this is also called physical style tag okay dot html you have to give now we'll run this program so this is bold text is bold see the normal text how it is written how it get printed how it looks this text is see this text is bold so how normal text looks from now we'll see another tag that is we'll see another tag that is italic tag so for italic you have to use i tag so you can write any message close this then use br so we'll run this see how this text okay so write any message this text is italic now next tag we'll see underline u tag u tag is used for underlining the text you can write any message so we'll save and run so below we'll write this pr see this is underlined text so now we'll write now parallel to bold text when you want to make the text as important then use strong tag okay strong tag is used it is like bold but when it is text is important okay strong tag is is like a uh, bold tag but to mark the text as important text important text close to strong tag br tag now we'll save and run see strong it is same like bold but when you want to make the text as a important text then you can use this same way uh, for italic you can use emphasize tag emp em tag when you want to make a reader the text as more emphasized so so it is same like italic
so this is C like same like emphasize text is so you can write any message here like this is Now for underline same way you want to underline the text then use one more tag so we'll write message here means parallel to these tags we have another tags for underline we have ins tag ins tag is used when you want to indicate that the text has been new text has been inserted into a document so this is used it is same like underline okay so we'll write message this is inserted text means when you want to indicate that this text is now now we will use s tag s stands for strike through when you want to delete the text like So we'll mark it as this way. We'll first see the output. So this is strike through. We'll write below. So this is strike through. So when you want to make the text as this way, so parallel to it we have. so parallel to this tag we have del tag del deleted text so we have see so same way it is so what we'll do so this is used when like you are seeing this is my favorite color but not this okay so that way you can use opposite to inserted text now we'll use to make the text as highlighted text then use mark tag is used for highlighting the text Use the mark tag. Use br tag for new line. Save it. So mark tag is used to highlight the text. Any text which is important, you can highlight the text. Now we will see. Uh, when you want to make the text to be appeared at. Uh, for for formulas if you want to use then use subscript tag sub like uh, suppose first we'll just write so this text will be appear below the normal text subscript below the normal text so this is used mostly for formulas so we'll see now this is subscript so we will write one formula also like h now we want to below a little bit the normal text so use subscript sub then write two now two i want below so use sub subscript tag okay so we'll run and see now Okay, so I'll write this now. O also you want H two O. 
so mostly this tag is used for formulas and we'll use here dr tag so that new line see h2 so mostly a subscript is used for formulas now we want any text like this way like on raise to you want about the little bit above the normal text then use superscript sup so sup stands for superscript so we'll write here this is super this is superscript close the tag now see the output so we'll sup So when you want to write the text above the normal text little bit above the normal text then you superscript suppose uh, o2 okay like these text are mostly used for footers like o2 oxygen 2 is little bit above then use sup then use 2 then close the tag we'll close here br tag now see okay got it so this is so this is bold tag super so parallel tags are used uh, so we'll see again revision b stands for bold tag strong is parallel to bold tag but when you want to make the text as important it is same as display same as bold text uh, then italic parallel to italic is emp tag uh, this is used mostly for reading or verbally something text in italic important text underline is used to make text underline ins is same like uh, underline means when you want to insert something new into has been inserted into document opposite of cutting the document if you're cutting something and inserting strike through is like cutting something okay so parallel to strike through is deleted del del tag mark is used to highlight the text subscript is used when you want to write the text above the normal text little bit uh, you want to raise the text above the text it will be little bit small uh, in the size raise to whatever it is and uh, sorry subscript is below subscript when you want to write the text below the normal text and superscript is used when you want to write the text above the normal text uh, so Thank you. Hope you understood. So subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you all of you.